Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today's topic is the first conditional. It's called the real, present, or the future. We use it to talk about real situations in the present or the future. That can happen as a result of a certain condition. There are three example sentences for this conditional. And I will explain why in a minute. The first sentence is, if I finish my work on time, I will go to the party. What it means is that if I work fast, I will have time to go to the party. Now, here we have a few tricky things to remember. Even though we talk about the future in the conditional clause, we don't use the future form well. We use the present symbol for. That is a mistake that many English learners make. So I thought it is very necessary here to remind you about it here. Remember, there is no will after if. The second example sentence for this conditional means the same as the first, but uses the negative forms. So that it will be easier for you to understand the third sentence. The sentence is, if I don't finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. Again, no finished work, no party. No future forms after if. The third sentence for this conditional is, unless I finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. It has the same meaning as the first two sentences. Here, instead of if, the conditional word is unless, and it means if not. Remember that unless already has a negative meaning, so don't make it a double negative by unless I don't finish my work. Unless I finish my work. To sum up, in the first conditional, we have the present symbol in the conditional, close. And well plus verb in the main clause. The example sentences are, if I finish my work on time, I will go to the party. If I don't finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. And, unless I finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. And this is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. I hope so. Take care.